How you doing? My name is Jan Z. Haynes Jr. and I'm with a consulting firm and the issue of the day that we're going to talk about is growing your staff. We're going to start off today with a table of contents. And in today's issues, we're going to talk about the need for human resource management services, operation gap, workplace training, importance of training, outline of the proposed training, and performance improvement plan. To quote, do not be angry that you cannot make others as you wish them to be since you cannot make yourself as you wish to be. Thomas A. Kemp's. Kemp's, excuse me. Need for human resource management service. Basically, every HR department talks about, deals with three things, rather as collateral, capital, or materials. You basically deal with three things. HR also deals with five issues, the staffing, retention, development, adjustment, managing change. Basically what staffing deals with is people and skills. Retention deals with re rewards, our homeless environment, or homeless and safe work environment, excuse me. Develop, development, basically preserve and enhance employees. Basically you wanna train your employees and you want them to be able to work in different areas and also be effective if they go to another place of employment. Adjustment. Basically, it deals with this. <laughs> it deals with discipline. With discipline, you have people who might get online or might not want to deal with proper policies and procedures. At that place in time, you deal with them in the proper areas. Managing change. Response to external and external factors. You want your company to be marketable so it can handle change quickly and deal with external and internal factors. The operational gap. Here with Babcock, you have operational gap with DSPs because there's a high turnover rate and a DSP is a direct support specialist who works directly with consumers. Here at the Babcock Center, they, have, they work mainly in the Richland and Lexington area, and you have over 500, 500 consumers. The consumers are because people who have mental, mel, excuse me, mental illnesses and and or physical disabilities. Workplace training, training and development. According to Casco, traditionally lower level employees are trained while high level employees are developed, meaning that lower level employees, they go through a, a training where high level employees are developed. Example that would be the CEO with, micro, with not Microsoft, but McDonald's. The CEO, he got old and as a result, no one was able to take his place, so another one had to be groomed and developed. Training methods can be classified in three ways. Information presentation at the Babcock Center, they send out they send out weekly bulletins, which is a form of correspondence. Simultaneous methods is dealing with role playing. With role playing at the Babcock Center, they want to do what if scenarios. Okay, if this situation happens, this is how you should handle it effectively. Orientation, excuse me, on the job training. On the job training is orientation. With this training, you want to go through a two week process which I will get to later into the presentation. Importance of training. Like I said earlier, there's a lack of DSPs because of the 500 consumers that we deal with and the high turnover rate, we have a lack of DSPs because when they come into the program, they it may not be exactly what they thought it would be. So with that, they'll up and leave. Increase, and with this, with the point, it's not the issue we want to focus on the increase, of independence with the consumers. With the consumers, like I said earlier, they were mentally ill, so we want to increase their independence. And some consumers may be on a 15 minute accountability, 30 minute, one hour, three hour accountability. But with that, we want to increase their independence so they can grow. Safety, safety is a big issue. With the training, it will include fire safety, behavior, behavioral and accident reports, and will also we also want to increase the quality of life. With DSPs, they are direct support specialists, so they work directly with the consumers. So you're going into their homes, 
and you want to make sure the level of care is effective so they are treated like family because in some instances they look at you like you are family. Outline of the proposed training. According to CASCO, the process of a performance improvement plan consists of three things. Define performance. Basically, your goal setting, your measure, and your assessment. If you want your employees to be at a certain level, expect that, and most of the time, because your employees will meet that level that you want them to be at. Facilitate performance. Perform in that, you want to perform successfully, provide resources to do the job successfully, pay attention in employee selection. With that, you want your employees to be around for a while because, if I'm not mistaken, it takes like $14,000 and interviews, selection, orientation, training. So you want to groom your, you want to groom your potential employees to be around for a long haul. And with that, you want to encourage performers with rewards, incentives, benefits, so that you can have the employees something to look forward to, something to work hard for. Next slide, please. Basically, <laughs> the job. My training will consist of this breakdown. My um, my training it will consist of a job fair. With the job fair, you will have a large group of a large group of potential employees come in, look at the video, look at the rules and duties of a DSP, and see the do's and the don'ts, the advantages of being a DSP. From there, they will go to their first interview. Their first interview will consist of a large group of D, a large group of house managers and coordinators who will ask them a bunch of Correct. A bunch of professional um, questions. From there, they will go to the second interview with the actual hiring house manager coordinator who will ask them questions more directly related to a particular house or the um, population that they will be dealing with. And if they are selected, they will go through orientation. At orientation, they will receive risk management training, CPR training, restraint training be man certified and they also go through a drugs air course. They will go through these different they will go through this different training because the risk management is important, the CPR in case a consumer falls out, they will have, they were able to perform CPR until now until the paramedics are able to come. Risk screen training, some of the consumers are aggressive, so you are able to protect yourself effectively. Man tech certification because you will be certified to handle medication because in certain homes you are passing on medications. Driver's education is important because as a DSP, you are driving consumers to the workshops. You're picking them up from different appointments and taking them wherever they need to go. Also, we want to have a refresher course in these different areas quarterly in order to keep the in, in order to keep you abreast and know what's going on. Also, we want to have annual employee and evaluations. With the evaluation, we will check your performance, see where you at in order to and see where we want you to be at. If you're not there, we're gonna level you up in order to get you where we want you to be. Lastly, we would rate effectiveness. We would do this through surveys, employee of the year banquet, and open lines of communication. With the surveys, they will be submitted in your pay stub and we will check we will if we will send them out quarterly, if I'm not mistaken. So with the Employee of the Year banquet, is held like at the Babcock Center, is held in August, and it gives house managers and coordinators the opportunity to recognize people who work very hard and effectively with the directly with the consumers. Open lines of communication is important because it gives DSPs and everyone the opportunity to voice how they feel openly and give a perspective on stuff that the house manager or the coordinator wouldn't see because as a DSP they directly work with the consumers and see what needs to what needs to be changed and what needs to be met directly. Thank you. Any comments or concerns? I see they are now. Here's my reference page. Alright. 